alpha and beta are natural numbers satisfying this quadratic equation in x x square minus 70x plus lambda equals to 0. It is given that lambda by 2 or lambda by 3 is not a natural number. That means lambda is neither multiple of 2 nor multiple of 3. If lambda takes the minimum possible value, then we have to find the value of this expression. Now, this is a very interesting problem from quadratic equations. The given quadratic equation is x square minus 70x plus lambda equals to 0. And the roots of this quadratic equation in x are alpha and beta. Alpha and beta are natural numbers. Alpha plus beta, this will be 70. And the product of root alpha into beta, this will be c by a. So, that means alpha into beta, this is lambda. And now we have to find the two natural numbers, alpha and beta, such that their sum is 70 and their product is lambda. And also the product is minimum. Also notice that lambda is neither multiple of 2 nor multiple of 3. So, there are different ways in which we can select two numbers, two natural numbers, such that their sum will be 70. One possibility is that we can take alpha as 1 and beta as 69. So, in this case, lambda which is alpha into beta, this will be 1 into 69. And in this way, there are number of different possibilities. And similarly, the last possibility is that if we take equal roots, that means both the roots are 35. So, in that case, lambda will be 35 into 35. We know that if sum of two positive numbers is a constant, then their product is maximum when the numbers are equal. So, the maximum possible value of lambda will be 35 into 35. Here we are interested in minimum possible value. So, if we take one of the roots as 1 and another root 69, then we will get the minimum value of lambda. The second minimum value will be 2 into 68 and so on. And in this direction, the value of lambda will keep on increasing, right? Now, here the smallest value of lambda will be 1 into 69, but we have to ensure that lambda is neither multiple of 2 nor multiple of 3. 69 is multiple of 3, so therefore we cannot take this first case. Next number again multiple of 2. So, the smallest possible value of lambda, such that lambda is neither multiple of 2 nor multiple of 3, this will be 5 into 65. So, in this case, one of the roots, let us say alpha will be 5 another root beta, this will be 65 and lambda which is product of alpha and beta, this will be 6 into 65. So, if you substitute those numbers here in this expression, then you will find that the required expression will be 60. So, that is the correct answer for this problem.